Welcome to Das Geek. What you see here before you is Ubuntu Budgie, but it's not just installed on anything. We have this running on a MacBook 2012. This is an older MacBook with only four gigabytes of RAM. It's got a little Intel video processor in it, upgraded it with an SSD, but otherwise it's a pretty low powered machine by today's standards. But if you love the look and feel of a MacBook like many of us do, especially the way they space and their keyboards and the nice glass mouse track pads and the way everything just feels higher quality as far as holding the machine in that unibody aluminum frame. Very easy to work on these older MacBooks as well, which is one of the reasons why I picked one up. And you hate the operating system, or maybe you don't even hate it. Maybe you like Mac OS, but you want the power of Linux in there. Well, Ubuntu Budgie is a really awesome alternative for you. And I first heard about this operating system doing the Destination Linux uh, podcast. I was co-hosting there with an individual named Dustin, and Dustin does some work for Budgie. And so I went and checked it out, and I just happened to need to put Linux on my MacBook. And so I installed it here, and I absolutely have fallen in love. Number one, look at these color patterns. They're almost Mac-like, right? You've got those purples and those blacks. It almost feels like when you boot up, you're a little bit in that Mac world still. And then when you go down here to Plank, you've got that Mac launch bar that a lot of us are used to. Of course, this is Plank. So you kind of still get that feeling. If somebody walked by and you were drinking a latte over at Starbucks and you're worried they might discover you that you're uh, not a hipster or something, don't worry because they'll walk by this and think you're just using Mac OS and you've got some custom skins on it because it's very, very similar and I think what that similarity is more of the simplicity of Ubuntu Budgie really comes out. Everything is where it should be. For instance, if you want to come up here and you want to change the time and date, you just right click on it and then you can change your preferences if you want 12 hour, 24 hour. Makes sense. If you go over here and click this button and you want to type for something like Firefox, you just start typing as soon as you click that button and it will automatically search for it. Everything is very intuitive and works exactly how you think it would. Additionally, Steam. Now, I'm not going to be able to run any high-end games on this MacBook, but I love when I launch Steam that it puts this little nice icon up here and it shows me a whole listing of some of the games that I have installed that I can play. Of course, this is screen recorder here, so you may not see that. We've got the connection to my Wi-Fi network. You've got places here, so your most utilized places or where your folders are within your home folder. You can get to those down here, which I thought was very intuitive, very fast. You have a notification center here, and this is the Raven menu over on the right-hand side. And you can see I'm running low on my battery, and it tells me. And that's the really cool thing about Ubuntu Budgie. When I installed this operating system, of course, you get the, the awesome Ubuntu installer, which pretty much works with everything. And lo and behold, that holds true for MacBook 2012s as well. I had to install nothing additional in this to get the Wi-Fi working, the trackpad worked, the function keys at the top for brightness and volume, and all of that worked right as soon as I installed it. I had I didn't touch the terminal. I didn't have to go in any special menus or do anything special to enable anything. It all worked right out of the box. And one of the most interesting things that it did was it automatically found my wireless printer and installed it. And it's the first Linux distribution that I've used that actually did that. It told me it found my printer and it connected to it immediately, which was very interesting because other distributions, I've actually had problems getting my printer to work. So, and of course you have your Bluetooth settings here. So all in all, just very well done. When you go into your file system, you know, this is very familiar. You can make all the changes and adjustments to your folders right here from within this menu system. So you don't have to go outside of it and make adjustments and settings or somewhere else. You can do all of your preferences and things right here within the file menu itself. And I think it just works beautifully. Everything is very simple. It's where it should be. Now the one exception, the one thing that I really wish they would add that's a very minor annoyance, and you can see I already worked around it, is if I wanna drag something to my desktop, I can't. I actually have to go through my file system, find the program and drag its icon or, or tell it to move a copy of the icon to my desktop here. So there's no dragging your icons onto your desktop. And for me, some people don't like anything on their desktop. They don't like the clutter. But for me, I prefer to have things on the desktop. It just allows me to get to it quicker. 
and I would like to have seen that function added back. But otherwise, even with utilizing Plank, and of course this is with Plank in any OS that you go to and use it, you could just right click if you've opened a program and tell it to keep it in dock, and you would always have it down here. And of course you can change your Plank settings so that it doesn't auto hide like I have it there. Uh, as far as software and programs that come with it, one of the most interesting things I think about this is that it comes with Chromium default browser instead of Firefox. Now, of course, you can go in and install your own browser, and I installed Firefox, but most of the distributions I've utilized, they default to Firefox. Uh, this one defaults to Chromium, so I thought that was a little bit interesting. I'm not a big fan of Chrome or Chromium, so they're not my two favorites, but a lot of people disagree with me and absolutely love them, and so they're there for you if you want to use them. So this is a really awesome project, and if you've got a MacBook sitting around and you want to revitalize it and make it powerful again, this is definitely an option. I will tell you with absolute uh, certainty that this is a much snappier than what this MacBook was, this MacBook Pro was, when it had Mac OS on it. It boots in about half the time, and in, in Mac OS, I kept getting that pinwheel coming up when I would do things like launch a browser or something like that, and I do not have that here. Now, this isn't a super fast computer to begin with, but not having that issue, you could see it goes, when, once I click that launcher, it just opened the browser very quickly. It can do videos very fast. It just doesn't have any trouble uh, moving around and it certainly did with Mac OS. It had some trouble on there a little bit Now what I want to do is I'm going to play a quick game now I'm running out of battery life, but it's just kind of tradition for me to play a game here So let's find one and all I have is the trackpad so we can't go too crazy here So let's do some faster than light Let's play this for a little bit and just kind of show you gaming uh, steam works very well You can see it's integrated very well within uh, having this notification bar, etc., within uh, Ubuntu Budgie already. I'm going to turn the sound and the music volume down here. Oops. That way it doesn't distract too much. And let's just continue a game we were on. We'll click jump. And we'll go to our exit point here. You can see it's moving very quickly. Of course, we're doing screen recording at the same time, uh, but it's not having any issues. Uh, managing it there's no slowness and this isn't a very powerful game so i'm not expecting you to be super wild by that but just to keep in mind all the tasks that it's also doing on the side and having no problem running a game on top of it which i can tell you with the mac os on it by itself was more of an issue so ubuntu budgie i mean it's very cool i really like by the way faster than lights an amazing game if you haven't checked it out already but i think it's just a really great option if you have a macbook around and want to move it to Linux, uh, this would be the one I would recommend to anybody who has that uh, MacBook and wants to convert it because you still kind of get that feel of a MacBook, but you get the power of the Linux, and I think that's just awesome. So let me know in the comments below if you've checked out Ubuntu Budgie. What are some cool things I didn't mention about it that it can do? And until next time, get out there and fill your brain. Don't watch the video.